Hello everybody, your Fiosio. Welcome back to some more Undertale. In the last episode, we uh, we fought a spider queen and we also confronted Metaton once again in the musical. Uh, no, actually, actually in the programming it said Undertale the musical. That was fun. But this time, we don't want to go further in. Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. There's two fellas who bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait. I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Oh, oh hey. We're, like, digging a rain click on that killing you. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. Okay. And we're over here. Hey, hey. Did you remember my name? Did you? Yes, it's that stuff. What you remember? How could I be easily defeated? That face, though. Hmm. And over this way, oh, it's a musical place. Can we climb up here? No. Damn. In a way, I am kind of curious what's down here, because I do want to try to find Sans again. Um, I want to go to left floor 2. That face, though, indeed. Oh, wait, wrong place. I want right door. There we go. Hey, Sounds, do you have my hot cot? Hope so. Hey, buddy. What's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30 G. Thanks, kid. Here's your hot dog. I'm stocking up with some hot dogs. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna go back down to the entrance, because I heard there's actually a secret boss here. It's only a rumor, though. I'll go to the right floor one. I only heard about where it is, and how to access it. Oh, wrong- wait, this is a good place. There's a sick one right here. Now I'm gonna structure limbs in distance, yada yada, fill with determination, I'll save. However, though, sadly, we have to kill this boss. That's the only other thing I know about it, is that we also have to kill it. Where it is? It's right over here, actually. At least if I heard correctly. Art Club, meet here. Next meeting, October 10th, 8pm. Damn it. I missed it. Well, so much for that idea. So, uh, see you guys in 11 months on October 8th. Never mind with that hidden secret, boss. Apparently, you have to be here on the exact date. Okay, let's go to, uh, right up here. Alright, and Sans, what are you doing here? Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, sure. Great, then. Thanks for treating me. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know that feeling, buddo. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already gotten food, drink, 
friends. And what you have to do... Really worth it? Deep. Ah, uh, forget it. I'm running for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. I'm a century in Snowden Forest, right? I, I sit there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there is this huge locked door. And it's perfect for, for, for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, as usual. I knock on the door and said, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I heard a woman's voice. Who is there? So naturally, I respond, Dishes. Dishes who? D dishes is a very bad joke. Do -do then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke he's ever heard in a hundred years. So I kept on coming and she kept on laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then after a dozen of them, she n knocks and says, Knock knock. I just say, Who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. <laughs> wow. Needless to say, this one was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Robbers is getting kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But then she told me to come by again, so I did. And I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes to the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something. Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but... Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integri integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? I promise I made to her. You know what would happen if she hadn't said anything, buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You hadn't died a single time. Hooray! That's right, isn't it? Well, well, okay, great to my great skills. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself. Because someone really cares about you. Wait, where'd he go? It's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. It's a potted plant. As I come in, I realized that we got to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyways. Now I'm just kind of... Consuming dew off this... Thing. Deep, man, deep. What is this? Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to fool human attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing, it's, a, it's an awful tradition. You can't go oh, two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. It's a snow drake! I work at the core. Inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means you can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, today was a fun day. I sure love puzzles. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son. He wanted to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells this awful pun. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed, he can't stand... He couldn't stand living at home anymore, so he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. There's more to these snow drakes. Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. 
You also need to reserve your chair. Your silverware, your food, your... No thanks. Ah, uh, getting clean. There's an inscription on, on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain, built 21X. Meditone added last week. Welcome to the MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or or still live here, MTT Resorts provides itself a great stay. This past and thrill, nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being past thrill. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel fills you with determination. That's a hey. Got the creepy all the way to the right for some great details. Okay. Hey, check it out, check it out! Okay, we got some junk food. Empty gun. Well, it's not included. Huh. Probably to somebody's house. So we only have 83 gold. Dang. Cowboy hat. Oh, defense one, defense. Attack up and warn. Okay, what do you guys have to talk about? About you two. I'm Ready. I'm Caddy. This is my best friend. Caddy, Ready. About your about your wares. This stuff inside is like totally wickedly expensive. But like this stuff we found was like totally wicked cheap. You should like totally wickedly buy all of it. Origin of the wares. I mean like where does anyone get guns or food or we found it in the garbage? It's good garbage, it's like totally good garbage. Origin of the garbage! Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh! Wonderful, Mosley, we found the gun in a dumpster. Alright, about Metaton. Oh my god, Metaton! He's like, he's like, my ro a robot husband. I think we're like, totally already like married to him, we're going to marry him. He just like, doesn't know it yet. Okay, where did Metaton come from? So, like, Dr. Alfie's built Metaton, right? That's like what they tell you. But, like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alfie's was an old friend. But they're like, not friends anymore, yeah. Unlike me and Bra Braddy. Er best friends forever. Okay, about Alfie's. Oh my god, Alfie's! She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you to trips to the dump, she had us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her since forever. Okay, royal scientist. So all pieces, like, totally has Gora's super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impressed with him. A robot with a soul, that's like, super related to this hotties. Okay. So after seeing Metaton Ascor, has her to do science this stuff for him. But nobody's like, seen anything from her since. Or her at all. She must like, the senior lab all day. Like live a, like live a little girl, yeah. Like us. What's about Ascor? Oh my god, he's big, fuzzy goofball, he's a total goober. He's, well, so nice. Yeah, we're like, side for the destruction of humanity. Okay. Okay. You don't have to say these two? Stay fresh! I couldn't resist. It was, it was the pun I had to make. Stay fresh. And down this way. It's just a regular wall. Hmm. Yep, I had to make that pun. And this? Yeah, I'm not going home tonight, um. I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. Yeah, I'm not gonna go home tonight, um. I think there's some cold pizza. Oh. I don't wanna talk to you, I wanna talk to you. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel is going its best to accommodate everyone stuck here. Huh. 
Oh, room, room service. Get my sweet CT, not yet. Then it's locked from the inside. Oh, room service. Get my cinnamon bun. No. Then you're shuffling. Seems like you could put something underneath the door. No, but seems busy. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Stole this from Splatoon. Okay, I wonder where he's pointing to. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Because of the incident, rooms are running at a special rate. Two, 200 G for a room interested? No. Do let us know if you change your mind. Have a spectacular day. Welcome to the MDT brand Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle it, throw up your day, trademark. Okay, I'm sorry, huh? It's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Okay, so what do we got? Um, steak in the shape of Metaton's face. Don't ask, please. Legendary hero. Attack up in battle. Popular food. We're gonna sell some scrap. Wait, this person started selling someone the hamburger well. <laughs> just trying to surprise <laughs> survive. Okay. Ugh. Thank you, have a fabulous full day. Okay. What? You keep trying to talk to me. I'll get in trouble if I if I get chummy with this customer. Sorry. So I wanna be an actor! Okay, I would like some life advice. <laughs> I'm getting on in years. So let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time! Don't live like me! I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. Okay, romance advice. Listen, I like you, little buddy. So I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. Never inter interact with attractive people. Unless you're one of them, they're going to take advantage of you. Like the time those two chicks asked me to, to sneak them some glam burgers, then I, naive teenagers that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. Okay, what about this glam burger story? <laughs> so I went to the alley to see these two ladies, and, uh, you know, see, see what happened next. Then my boss, uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, then the hamburger started tumbling out of, out of the ground. Now I wanted to, to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But, as soon as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. <laughs> then the girls laughed at me. Everyone called me burger pants now. Okay, tell me about Metaton. When I first came to Hotland, my dream was to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. Why is Metaton bad? God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, the vetoes and says, that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why else is MTT bad? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle! You know, one time, I bought one of those. Um, kits online to... Um, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. Okay, what? tell me about your future. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes! I'll probably be trapped here in the sewer dump forever. But wait! There's one thing that keeps me going! If Escort just lets me... J ...gets just one more soul, we'll finally be able to go to the surface! It'll be a, br it'll be a brand new world! And there's gonna be a second chance for us out there, for everyone! So stay strong, little buddy! When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Okay. Bye, sir. Anytime, little buddy. That was interesting. 
So, this way leads to the core, which is where I'm going to conclude this episode off for today. For today. YouTube wise, so might you just say, next time in Undertale, we are going to go to the core with this big neon sign that says, core. Alright, I'll see you guys later.